Hey guys, we're getting closer and closer to the holidays so you know what time it is. We gotta start working on those smart home holiday setups. So today we're gonna be talking all about the twinkly Christmas lights. Now I absolutely love these lights and they are a perfect addition to any smart home for the holidays. And they do support the Amazon and Google Assistants. Unfortunately, no support for HomeKit yet, but for all you HomeKit users out there, don't worry, I got your back. Today I'm gonna show you how you can use these lights with HomeKit. Now we can use Hoobs or HomeBridge to integrate them directly into our HomeKit setup, which I'm gonna show you, or if you don't have Hoobs or HomeBridge, don't worry, you can also just use these with a regular HomeKit smart plug, and I'll talk about that as well. And finally, be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I'm also gonna tell you how you can enter to win some free twinkly lights of your own, plus their new twinkly music, which really makes these lights come alive. I'm telling you, Christmas has never looked so cool. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Shane and on this channel, I am building an easy smart home using the HomeKit platform with new videos released every Sunday right here. Now today's video is sponsored by Twinkly. I wanna thank Twinkly for sponsoring this video as well as the giveaway we're gonna talk about in a few minutes. If you're not familiar with these lights, basically they are smart Christmas lights that connect to your Wi-Fi, allowing you to change colors, effects, and all kinds of cool stuff with their app. And they even have this new Twinkly music device that came out recently that can identify musical elements and make the light effects come alive even more. For full transparency, they did send me a set of their Christmas lights and the Twinkly music to use so that I could record for this video. Now, about this time last year, I found out about these Christmas lights and I just had to buy some for myself with my own money. Now, these are not necessarily cheap. But when I first bought mine last year, I decided they were worth the investment for something, you know, that my kids and my family could really enjoy during the holidays. You know, making those memories with your kids while they're young is kind of priceless to me. And my daughter, for example, loves being able to create her own designs on the tree with the Twinkly app. And I'm sure that's probably something she'll always remember. So I did actually make a video last year about my experience with these. I'll put a link to that video in the description below if you wanna check that out. But today, as mentioned, we're gonna talk about how to use them with HomeKit, which they don't natively support. Now, as I said, there's really two methods that will work just fine. The first is to use them with any old HomeKit smart plug, probably like you've done with regular Christmas lights before. And the other is to integrate them into Hoobs or HomeBridge if you're currently running either one of those. Now, let's first talk about using them with a smart plug. This is something that I actually did recently as a part of my Halloween setup. You might remember that video. And it worked just fine. They were actually connected to HomeKit through a smart plug so I could include them in my Halloween scene with a bunch of other HomeKit lights. When that smart plug cuts off, it's essentially the same as unplugging the twinkly lights. And when you cut it back on, they will default to the last color and effect that was used. I found that I typically have one set of colors and effects that I like to keep my lights on the majority of the time, you know, whether it's for my Christmas tree or my Halloween decorations. So this method really does work just fine as far as like including it in my home kit scenes and automations. And then once they're actually on, if I ever want to change the effects or mess around with them, you know, the color or anything like that, I can just open up the twinkly app and do that there. Now if you have Homebridge or Hoobs currently running, there is a plugin that will allow you to expose these lights to HomeKit and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so I'm going to use Hoobs. Let's open up our dashboard, go to the plugins tab and let's search for Twinkly. And here we go. This is the one. We'll click install. Now let's click on details. And what I like to do is right click this link and open in a new tab. Now let's go back and click on the configuration of our Twinkly plugin. Click add accessory. Take note of what we see here, the accessory colon Twinkly. Now let's visit that other tab and get some information. 
you can see here we have this example config that we can use. Now since we're using hooves, we won't need all of this. We'll just need what's after that accessory colon twinkly. So I'm gonna highlight and copy this, go back to my hooves tab. I need to place a comma right here, hit enter, and then paste our code. You can change the name, and this is the name that will actually appear in HomeKit. I'm gonna change mine to twinkly01. And there we go, our code is now good to go with no errors. The only thing we need to do now is find the IP address of our twinkly lights and plug those in right here. Now, something important that I do wanna mention if you're using this method, you may need to go into your router settings and assign a static IP address to your twinkly lights. What happens is that IP address for your lights can change and when this happens, the plugin can actually mess up hoobs, you know, and none of your accessories will show up. This actually happened to me before with this plugin and I've seen it with other plugins before that required an IP address for a device like this. So I found that going in there and just setting a static IP address for that accessory solves the problem and everything works fine. So with that said, you can get your IP address by going through your router, you know, if you change it or whatever, like we just talked about, or you can also get the IP address right from the Twinkly app. Just go into the settings of any of your lights and you'll see the IP address right there. So I'm going to paste in my IP address for my lights right here into my config file, hit save changes, and that's it. Now this set of lights will actually show up in HomeKit. I can open the Home app and there we go. I now see my twinkly lights show up right here. Now I've actually got two strands of twinkly lights on my Christmas tree right now. So I'm gonna quickly add another accessory here and do the same thing for the second strand so that I can get those into HomeKit as well. All right, so there we go. Now, since I do want to control these two accessories together in HomeKit, I'm going to go into the settings of one of them, scroll down and tap group with other accessories. Tap my other set of twinkly lights, give the group a name, and done. Now I can turn on my Christmas tree lights with HomeKit, and I can even control the brightness of both strands together as one. Now, just like when we're using a smart plug, the lights will default to the last used color and effects, which to me is a good thing. You know, since we don't have the effect control within HomeKit, you can just kind of set your favorite effects and colors there in the Twinkly app, then use it in HomeKit to kind of turn it on and off, adjust the brightness even if you want to, add it to your scenes, automations, and stuff like that. As I said before, these lights are just amazing. The effects that you can create with them using the Twinkly app are just really awesome and a lot of fun to play with. And now that I've added them to HomeKit, I can automate my tree lights to come on and off, and I can even add them to my Christmas HomeKit scenes. Now, earlier I mentioned we do have a giveaway. Thank you to Twinkly. They have agreed to ship one winner a set of 250 LEDs as well as a Twinkly music device. To enter, just follow me and Twinkly on Instagram and tag two of your friends on my Twinkly giveaway post. I'll put a link to the full terms and conditions down below. Big thanks to Twinkly for sponsoring this giveaway and good luck to all of you. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon because next week I'm actually gonna show you my entire smart home holiday setup. And yes, it's obviously gonna work with HomeKit. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help out the channel. And if you wanna support the channel even further, hit that join button down below to become a channel member. For about five bucks a month, you can really help out this channel and also get access to some cool member only perks in the process. Big shout out to all of our current members. Thanks again to Twinkly for sponsoring this video and thank you for joining me today. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.